Located on beautiful East Grand Lake in Weston, Maine, Living Waters is ready to give you a memorable and spiritually uplifting vacation. If you're between ages 7 and 12, Living Waters offers pioneer camps. Classes include archery, BB gun, sailing, kayaking and canoeing, fishing, horsemanship, drama, survival, athletics, as well as others. Do you love sports? Two weeks of sports camps are also offered, one for ages 9 through 13 and another for ages 12 to 18. The focus of these camps is on soccer and basketball. You will learn from experienced coaches that not only have a love of their sport, but also for the Lord. Sessions include drills, setting up plays, technique, and everything else to help you succeed in the sport you love. Teen camps might be your choice if you're age 13 to 18. More advanced activities are available, such as mountain biking, water ski clinic, golf, martial arts, horsemanship, and paintball. As we're on a lake, we offer some great waterfront activities like water skiing, rides on the sea sled, swimming, canoeing, and sailboating. Other free time activities include the archery range, gaga, volleyball, mini golf, and horseback riding. Speaking of horseback riding, our horsemanship program offers a dedicated one hour per day at the horse barn learning about horses as well as going out on the trails. What about families? Yes, at Living Waters, you can bring your whole family and stay in a cottage or a motel. Lodging is available at the waterfront property or at the hillside just two miles away. Can you get away for a weekend? Retreats are available in both the summer and the winter. Men's retreat, ladies retreat, Labor Day weekend, ice fishing weekend, and fall foliage weekend, just to name a few. Living Waters can also customize a weekend for your church group or organization. Just give us a call. So no matter your age, Living Waters is ready to offer you an uplifting vacation. Now we would like to share with you a message from the founder of Living Waters Bible Conference, Wendell Calder. As you've already been able to view and see in this presentation, Living Waters uh, Bible Camp Conference has a lot to offer as far as program goes. A uh, great program for young people, program for adults, and uh, you know, everything from the horses uh, to the waterfront to athletic events to soccer camps to basketball camps. However, what I really want to share with you is that's not what Living Waters is all about. That's really just the tools used to present a message. And this camp is all about the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ that changes lives. I remember back many years ago when my wife and I, along with others, uh, walked onto this property here on the shores of East Grand Lake. It was a beautiful day. Uh, the lake was sort of glossy calm. The property had been sitting here, not being used for a few years. And as I stood there and looked out across that lake, I could see the potential of what could happen here in the years to come in the will of God. And so getting some people together, we prayed about it. And uh, as a result, uh, Living Waters came into being. And our intent and purpose has been from day one that this is going to be a place where the word of God is going to be priority. The word of God is going to be preeminent. There is a morning Bible hour for the children, for the teens, for the adults. There is an evening preaching service for all ages. There's devotional time with the counselors in the dormitory for the young people. We bring in uh, outstanding Bible teachers and preachers to share the word of God with adults and those who have the ability to communicate the gospel to young people. Let me just give you an illustration. Recently, while ministering at Living Waters, the staff was in my meeting, and so I opened it up for testimony time. And there were several staff members that gave their testimony. It was here at Living Waters that their life was changed. 
It was here at Living Waters that they accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. So after some adults had shared and so on, I just said, well, how many of you staff total were saved here at Living Waters? And the percentage was amazing. And that's been the purpose of the camp over the years, the campfire service. I used to walk around that campfire service and just say, Lord, hallow this place with the presence of yourself. Use it to transform lives. And no matter where I go, I meet people who have come here and they accepted Christ as Savior. And here's the exciting thing. Today, we have the children coming now of those who themselves were saved here at Living Waters years ago. So the main thrust of this ministry is what we called way back many years ago, camping with a purpose. And the purpose is to present Jesus Christ in a recreational environment, in a beautiful location here in the state of Maine, on a beautiful lake, to be able to present the claims of the gospel of Christ. The Apostle Paul said in Romans 1.16, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation. And you know, it doesn't matter. My wife and I have had the privilege of traveling literally around the world, and we found that this gospel is effective on every continent of the world. That's why Living Waters still exists. That's why the ministry is still going on, and lives are still being changed. And I want to challenge you. Consider coming. Bring in your family. Mom and dad, you come. Bring the whole family. Take a week's vacation with a purpose. If you're not able to come yourself, send your young people, your teenagers, your boys and girls, and I guarantee you, in this place, they will be presented with a person and a message that will change their lives, their attitude, their behavior, their conduct, and then, thank God, their eternal destiny. And so the thing that I really want to share is this is a place where Jesus Christ changes lives. And I just want you guys to know that Jesus really did pay it all, and he really does love you a lot. And when you guys go home, when you guys get back to reality, I want you guys to remember that he really does love you. And I want you guys to witness. Just be witnesses for him. But as to the first week I've been here, I found out more about God and that he actually died on the cross and that he saved all of us just so that we can go to heaven with him. Two years ago, me and Christina came here, and I thought it was fun. I learned a little bit more about God. I started trusting in Him. I started going to church more often. And this is my third year here, and ever since then, I've been going to church every day. I've had the fortune of being able to, to bring my family here now for the last number of years, and our kids uh, really love coming to camp. They look forward to it probably even more so than Christmas, and uh, we look forward to it each summer. It's certainly a life-changing experience uh, coming to camp, and, and it's uh, had an effect on me for eternity. God broke me, absolutely broke me this summer. I saw the beauty in everything that is here, and I just fell in love with God again. Because I realized that I wasn't saved, and I really wanted to be in God's family. And then I ended up I'm becoming a staff this year, and this week I'm a camper, but God has just let me come here and be able to work with everybody here and having a great time and a great summer. Do not let this be the last opportunity you have to make a decision for Christ. God's Word says we're not promised tomorrow. So the choice is yours now to make. Perhaps you will join us soon and will also experience a life changed forever.